Now, we're going to be talking about a certain photograph that has uh, landed a certain politician in hot water. Health Secretary Matt Hancock was photographed being chauffeur-driven in his ministerial car without wearing a face mask. Now, to put that into context, the public faces fines of £200 if they fail to wear a covering in a taxi. There is an exemption for chauffeur-driven cars. However, this is against the advice of Downing Street, who say that ministers should be wearing coverings. Matt Hancock is the very one telling all of us to be wearing them. So is he a hypocrite, Syrah? Well, ladies, <laughs> this, this has got us hot under the collar. So our researchers here at Loose Women, they mm. contacted the office for Matt Hancock, yeah. and this is what they said. They said there are different rules for chauffeur-driven cars to private hire vehicles and taxis. Ministers are advised to wear face coverings, but it is not a legal requirement. This is the spokesperson for Matt Hancock, Health okay. Secretary. So he hasn't um, broken any rules, no. according to them. However, Number 10 Downing Street have said that they place face coverings in all the ministerial cars and they are advised that ministers face coverings. Now, Janet, I'm a busy mum. I work. I'm trying to get through all of this. Sometimes I catch the news and I might see Matt Hancock getting in a car and visually I'll go, oh, it's all right. He's not wearing it. So I don't need to wear a face mask. Mm. My point is this, whether you are obliged or not, if you want to drum home the message that a face mask is a necessity, wear it at all times because you are Set the na you are setting the example for the nation. Mm. Right or wrong, Janet? Well, what kind of example are they setting exactly. full stop? I mean, Matt Hancock is the least of my worries, whether he wears the mask or whether he was drinking in the House of Commons late at night or not, which has occupied mm. acres of newspaper uh, coverage. I'm not too bothered about Matt Hancock because I came, kind of gave up on him weeks ago, but this standoff that's been going on mm. between Andy Burnham in Manchester and Boris Johnson in yeah. London, you know mm -hmm. what it's like? It's like a spaghetti western. <laughs> it's like the good, the bad and the ugly. There are two people trying to have a standoff. 12 o'clock has passed, it's now 12.30 and nothing's happened. Mm. Meanwhile, we don't know whether to wear our mask. I am totally it's confused. Mm. I've started ranting now, so apologies to <laughs> everyone at home. She's on her own. Because <laughs> as a single person living in London in tier two, us singletons are completely discriminated against. I like going out to have a meal with my friends in the evening. Now I can't. I'm condemned to sitting at home because I haven't got a bubble because all my relatives, you know, I'm too old to have a bubble. Um, I've got no support. I'm fed up. Yeah, I'm confusing. completely fed up. And I just think what's happened between all this posturing, we've got all different mm. restrictions for different parts of the country. Britain now looks like a monopoly board gone mental. I mean, it's all got different rules. You can step on one side of the street and be in a different That's tier. it, that's it, yeah. Do you understand yeah, yeah. Kelly, well, Kelly, before, yeah. just very quickly before I, I bring you in, I've just been told to, to let us all know that Matt Hancock, apparently he was wearing his mask for part of the journey. He took it off just as he was getting close Matt, to his you work. are photographed at all times in our homes, wear your mask. Not for part of the journey. Set the example. Stop giving us excuses. I'm not having it. It's okay. nonsense. <laughs> and Kelly, now oh. obviously I wanted to, to ask you about your take on all of this. Not just the mask situation, but um, uh, I forgot your name for a second. Janet. <laughs> I was thinking Matt Hancock. I was talking about obviously all the different tiers and different regions. What's it like where you are? Well, we are in what is technically called one of the hotspots um, in the UK. I am in Liverpool and I'm a tier three, which has had a massive knock on effect on lots of different people for lots of different reasons. Um, yes, we've been given government uh, government support in terms of financially, but there's been a real backlash with the younger people. So in the city centre, on the in the evenings, we've got people, gatherings of people, more, far more than six people, but absolute social gatherings of young people getting together with no masks at all, because they feel an umbrage towards um, the sort of north-south divide. And they feel like, you know, if, if Londoners can go out on a tube, why can't people from Liverpool, you know, go to the gym where it's yeah, a socially distanced exactly. gym? You know, so they're just feeling kind of, you know, really perturbed by the whole thing. Yeah, and, and, and this is mm. this. Can I just tell you? Can the government please get loose women when they're making up these rules? Because we represent people in our communities. Mm. How can so my best friend lives in tier one? Yeah, her sister lives in tier two. They go to work every day because they run a business together. Mm -hmm. 
But they can't go around each other's but houses. But they can't go around to each other's homes. Yeah. And we, we've, we've got it where we live in that we, the, the, the school that my daughter goes to, some of her friends are in, t oh, no, I'm getting so confused now. They're in tier two and the school isn't, but yet kids are still coming in and out. So they can socialize at school, but they can't go to but each other's houses or meet in the These are the conversations that people are having in their homes up and down this country. Mm. They give us this top line data and then we have to read pages and pages and pages of the small print. We haven't got time, we're trying to make a living. But to be Look, fair, just be clear. Sarah, 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 just to be fair, I think that the point of mixing in houses is that we do get more relaxed and that's yeah. where the virus can spread because we're far more relaxed in our mm. own homes and that's where the spreading kind of happens and I think that's the logic behind yeah. it. Well then Prince oh. William has, has said something very pertinent that all of these restrictions place a huge burden on yeah. people's mental health and unfortunately it's young people who are going to suffer the most. That's right. And I, I think, I know, you've, Sarah, you said about reams and reams of small print, but if you're watching this and you are confused, either go on, on the government website or on the, uh, the NHS app as well. If you click on your area, it will tell you what tier you're in and then what the guidelines are for that. Even that is confusing. We had, we had a look at it yesterday. If you're neighbouring uh, a borough that is in a different tier to you, it can, it can all seem quite confusing. But